What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk about hockey, queer books, and I like to create bookish challenges. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my TBR for round eight of the Queer Lit Readathon. If you missed it, I am a guest co-host for round eight of the Queer Lit Readathon and my announcement video will be up above if you missed it and want to participate in the readathon. Let's get into my TBR. I am so excited for all the books, so let's get started. I have not been reading at all this month, so I'm hoping the Queer Lit Readathon will suck me out of this reading slump I'm in, but let's just get into it. My first book is the group read, and this also completes the challenge to read a translated book, and this is Where We Go From Here by Lucas Roca, and I'm so excited to read it. Next is a novella and this completes the challenge novella and seasonal vibes. This is Mangoes and Mistletoe. I saw this on Instagram and it's a sapphic novella by a Latinx author and I'm super excited to read it. I love novellas and that's why I chose this challenge because they're just so fun to read and I cannot wait to read this one. Next for trans debut, queer sports and choose your own category. I have picked May the Best Man Win by Z.R. Eller. For the choose your own category, I have decided to go with Disability Rep. The author is actually autistic. This is Own Voices and I am so excited to finish it because I started it and didn't finish it and that is just the story of my reading life this year. <laughs> Next for Something Borrowed Fantasy and Middle Grade, I have chosen a graphic novel I've been wanting to read and this is The Girl from the Sea. A lot of my friends have been recommending this lately and I've just seen it all over Instagram and I just had to pick it up. It's on my hoopla and I am just so excited. I just love graphic novels, especially middle grade ones, and I saw this paired with This One Summer and that's one of my favorite graphic novels, so I know I'm going to enjoy this. It is about a 15 year old girl who comes out and that's all I really know about it and that's all I want to know about it, but I will be vlogging so you will hear all of my thoughts on these books in my vlog, which will go up like a couple of days after the readathon ends. The last two books I have are Host Wreck. In Rogan's video Queer Lit Rex 3, I saw them recommend Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee and they recommended the whole series and said that the third book in the series has a trans shapeshifter and that is what got me to pick it up because whoa that sounds so cool. This is about a superhero. I'm so excited. If you ask me which book I'm most excited to read it's definitely this one. Then for Queer Joy and Beyond LGBT I have chosen an anthology I was approved for on NetGalley and this is Fools in Love, Fresh Twists on Romantic Tales, edited by Ashley Herring Blake and Rebecca Podos. There are stories from Mason Deaver, Gloria Chow, Julian Winters, Laura Silverman, Amy Spaulding. There's a lot of authors I've previously read in Up All Night, so I'm really excited for this, but I did pick it up because Mason Deaver's in it. But I am choosing this for Beyond LGBT because I feel like there's going to be more in this anthology and I'm really excited to read it and I'm really excited to vlog while reading it. And the last book is for Rainbow Cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this but I really hope I can and this is I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. I've been wanting to read this so much and I know I have it from my library so the Something Borrowed challenge is going to happen a lot during the week. So that was my Queer Lit Readathon Round 8 TBR. If you're participating let me know in the comments what book you're most excited excited to read and don't forget to go and watch the host announcement videos and their TBRs as well. If you're new here feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you will be notified for when my Queer Lit Readathon vlog goes up. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, and I will see you in the next video very soon.